Okay, this is a tutorial on making extended mayfly bodies. Uh, very realistic, they look great, they float extremely well uh, and they're very easy to make. If you have a true rotary vise it helps immensely with this pattern. Uh, <clears throat> this is the reverse side, the tube fly side of the Petit Jean Master Vise. Uh, but if you, if you don't have a tube fly tool you can use a regular sewing needle. So what we want is this open cell foam and all we do here is we cut at an angle a little piece so it tapers at one side and is thicker at the other and then you cut it to length and carefully inchworm it onto the tube with the needle going central and you want a, a, just a wee bit of the needle sticking out at the end. Dyneema or GSP thread now you don't want to wrap this tightly otherwise it'll make it difficult to remove the body uh, from the needle once you're done. So all we want to do here is just go down and we go back up. Remember to spin your thread anti-clockwise to make it flat. That helps as well. So just go up here. Try and get the necessary taper on the body as you go. That'll do us. So now we go back down here. Remove that. couple of whip finishes remove your tying thread then we need super fine dubbing or another long fibred dubbing it's a cream colour actually here it's important that it's long fibred dubbing so we put this together and all we do here is just catch this on like that and then we're at keeping hold of the dubbing down here between your thumb and your finger and then we rotate our vise. Adjusting as you go and if you do have, uh, if you don't have a full true rotary vise try and uh, put your needle in so it is centred when you rotate your vise because this will help. Good. And we just carry on keeping tension on the dubbing all the time. Tighten up a bit now just to get the finished shape. Not much dubbing left now. And it's only a pinch. It's very very fine dubbing this and then holding loosely around the body just rotate to get the dubbing in place and, you put it, and just go over it with a little bit of wax but it's not necessary we need now is our tying thread again just attach this at the rear of the body and just lock that off Up. Then a little bunch of elk rump. A broken tip there, I don't want that. So we measure, I'll just spin that around, measure the length of the tail about there. Tighten it 
tie this in. Like so. That's good. Now you can carry on from there and that's absolutely fine the body from uh, the natural elk but what I like to do is I take two white elk hairs just to give the body a little bit more character and we'll tie one in there keep the points long because it'll make them easier to trim off afterwards and one on this side but you could use black ones if you wish or a combination of black and white elk hair uh, just to get your own body tight so we take some olive waterproof marker just colour our Dyneema or GSP whatever you're using for the rib if I spin that around a little maybe you see better so what we do now is we just make the first body segment get all the hairs on top of the hook shank and then we can segment the body make sure they're all nice and even there we go keep the two white ones a little apart So, yep, that's looking good. I'll stop there. There we are. And what we'll do is we'll trim off these once we've done the last segment. Take our whip finisher Put a whip finish in there, I like to put two Like so Remove that Then we can take hold easily of these two long white ones trim them off nice and close and then what we want is the two outside ones on the left and the right just fold these back like this and the center one there we go there's our three tails then we could just trim those off like that we'll sort that out shortly there you go and then we take hold of this and we twist our vise and just slide it off so what we can do now is just trim off you can see that there the rest of those be your hair there, stubs you can put a little drop of varnish on there if you wish but I don't find it necessary and there you have the beautiful detached body and there we have it that's as you would use with any other extended body uh, this one's with wally wings and a furnace hackle but uh, and it, not only to mayflies but uh, you can use it for daddy long legs as well uh, and if you'd like to see how I tie the whole of this pattern uh, the wings and the thorax you can watch my uh, wally wing done video and as usual if you enjoy the videos please subscribe and like thanks for watching